I look back on my childhood just with the best memories and that I loved that place. Every day was a great day coming to school. When you go into a Waldorf school, you know you're in a Waldorf school. You know, you can really feel that completeness. I could tell you that as soon as we walked in there, we were like, our kids are going here. <laughs> I mean, it just, there was a feel to that place that was amazing. It made you want to rewind, you know, the clock and be four years old again so that you could go to school there. The way Steiner uh, delineated it, the color in the classroom meets the child at their developmental stages. The beginning is not to make the children artists. They're already artists. The goal is to help make them balanced human beings. Waldorf is 100% about connection. The minute you start the day, you shake the teacher's hand. The teachers will just gently hold on to their little hands until eye contact is made. It is like a, it's an incredible training process and it sets them up for such great human interaction for the rest of their lives. I think that makes a huge difference as you move through life because what I'm learning more and more as I go through into now my career path is that it's all about connections. It's all about making connections, you know, um, finding success or or um, just getting to where you want to be is all about being able to shake someone's hand and look them in the eye and introduce yourself and be confident in that. Waldorf kids know how to connect. And I think that is just, that is what this life is all about. As a new parent, I was probably like many parents looking for the right fit for my children and really the future for them and wanting to seek what I felt like was the right pursuit for their best being. One of the words that comes to mind a lot for me was self-sustainability. And when I looked at the curriculum, I thought, I want my, my children to know how to grow their own food and make their own clothing. I want them to know their academics, but I also want them to be able to be in the world with the confidence of being able to self-sustain. It became really clear to me that childhood was gonna be a, a short-lived part of, of their life. And I had a very conscious feeling that we needed to do everything we can to slow it down. And the curriculum, I think, really focuses on trying to keep them younger longer, let them, you know, enjoy being a child for as long as possible. And, and, you know, there'll be time for computers and there'll be time for telephones and that sort of thing. Um, but it doesn't have to be now and it doesn't have to be for a while. And that caused me to, you know, really have confidence in the curriculum and want to dive right in. Neurologically speaking, accessing knowledge through multiple pathways makes so much more sense to me. And when I kind of thought about it that way, I was like, oh, this is brilliant. What we got to experience was a wide scope of, of arts and language and music and math and science and reading and writing. A lot of parents get concerned about it not being grade driven, but I actually think that that kind of like product outcome driven, you lose so much interest in learning. I remember, like vividly, I remember stories from, you know, fourth grade about Norse mythology or this one physics experiment that we did, because after we did the experiment, we had to talk about it, write about it, we probably sang a song about it. It was very much incorporating all of the, all of the senses into learning the subject. It just becomes real knowledge. It's not memorization, it's knowledge. With Waldorf School, because it is, you make your own textbooks with the main lesson books. You don't just learn about Martin Luther King, you learn, you memorize and absorb through your heart and your mind that I have a dream speech and then you draw a portrait of Martin Luther King and then you decorate it with the borders and make it this full integrated experience. To see these books that they come home with, it just about brings you to tears. It's like, yeah, these kids know this material in a way that you never would have known, you know, if you had just a textbook. What I love about the Waldorf style of learning that has actually carried through 
high school and college and will definitely be carrying through in my doctorate program is you use all of your senses to learn. The integration of all of your senses just really makes things stick. I have a very uh, eclectic group of children and it met each of them. They loved the variety that they got to have every day, the depth that they got to get into in the blocks, the consistency of what they felt, and they loved being loved by everyone around them. The outdoor uh, ed is just a phenomenal aspect of the, the curriculum. That has been a wonderful, wonderful part of the whole experience. To see the kids really get fired up to, you know, to camp, to camp in a snow fort, to build a snow fort on their own, you know, to, to make a paddle and take that paddle on the river. We've been so unbelievably lucky to have some of the greatest teachers. Uh, Lola's finishing eighth grade now and she'll, she'll go through a full eight years with, with the same teacher. And I'm a big believer in that continuity that you get with a Waldorf school, that you, a teacher learns the student, the student learns the teacher, that you each understand the strengths and weaknesses of the other, and then you build on that as you go through the eight years or so together. In that space, you're able to meet yourself in someone who's similar to you and meet someone very different than you. That's also a space to really grow into your full individuality. There's a lot of terrible stereotypes about Waldorf School out there, thinking that you know, the kids aren't pushed enough and the kids aren't ready for the real world and like X, Y, and Z. And I think that they're way more ready in so many ways. Like when I went to high school, my entire freshman year was a review. I think it's made me a very adaptable learner. Our brains are built to connect all the dots and to fill out a whole picture and how this affects us and how it's gonna change us later. And that's like having, having learning be that integrative that it becomes a whole living, breathing life for you. Particularly in college, I came across many friends in many classes that had to learn things one way. But as a Waldorf student, I feel like we are able to really adapt to different modes of information, just presentation. Those that seem to go through a more standard education system really had a hard time when all of a sudden the presentation of information changed. I always teach freshmen. The Waldorf students were the most they were the most ready. We all seem to have this very high level of intrinsic motivation. We know when our work is good and we know when it's subpar. And so there is just this internal drive to produce good work. I think I had six Waldorf students in my class this year. While they were different from each other, their, their work was similar in that it was excellent. They always put a piece of themselves into it. Waldorf sets you up to just have really strong work ethic. There was a, a common thread with the Waldorf students that they would be able to stand up, give a presentation. Public speaking is not nearly as big of a deal for someone who's been doing it since the first grade. It's neat to see our children up on stage and to see that courage come forth. They were bringing with them this gigantic skill set that now as a parent I can see starts very early on and they, and they are that way because of the amount of practice and, and formal attention that it's, it's given. The term slacker, I didn't even know what that meant until I got to high school because you just didn't find that in the Waldorf school. Nobody was a slacker. Everybody, everybody worked hard at what they were doing. Waldorf education allows you to see beauty in places that other people don't. It's the beauty, truth, good, and noble, you know, and I still come back to that verse and I still try to live it every day. There is a beautiful, freeing, element to being in a space without devices. You know, absence of external influence as long as possible when your kid strengthens is it strengthens your ability to like come back to like, wow, it's a beautiful day out. And I can feel the breeze on my skin and I can slow down 
and hear my inner guide. One of the things that my group of girlfriends say that they love most about me is that I'll just randomly say, look how beautiful this day is. And that's not something that a lot of people do. But I think just to take like a time out and appreciate beauty, I came to that through Waldorf School. And so ideally we're creating individuals who are compassionate and who are aware and who are conscious and who are knowledgeable and also have the abilities to swim in any kind of sea they want to swim in and be in any kind of space that they want to be in. What at first seemed like it was a choice of which school our children were going to go to, quickly we realized it was actually about being part of a much broader community and that community teaching us a way of life which honors nobility and beauty and truth and really seeing that and the intentions of the teachers and the staff and the parents. It's so important is how much love there is at the Waller School. Um, like beyond the truth and the beauty and the goodness and the happiness and that type of stuff, like there's just a heartbeat there. Waldorf communities will become oasises in a bigger culture. They will become oasises of soul nourishment in a desert of modern life. This valley in particular is quite remarkable with the land features that we have here with Mount Soparis and the Crystal River and the Roaring Fork. Small, tight-knit community. Everyone has an appreciation for the outdoors here. People are more interested in knowing like what you do for fun as opposed to what you do for a living, which was kind of a refreshing change. You know, we're a part of the world, but we're also not a part of the world. To me, it, it feels like a, a very safe place to have the school nestled into this unbelievable, natural, beautiful place with the people who live here has been just an amazing blessing for us. The sense of community is really important. Once you're a part of a community that honors who you are as an individual, which is what we're doing with the children, the doors are open. Each class is a community. The school is a community. The assets of this area is the freedom and the openness and the beauty and the activity and the weather and all of the things that open us up to the great outdoors. What you want for your kid is just to know that they can go into what is at times a very confusing and potentially dark world and find a way to operate and to contribute. And that is clearly happening. It's so important. It like, it, I mean, it brings tears to my eyes how vital it is for kids to be raised that way and raised that holistically with that much respect for what it is to be human. I would say, take the leap. <laughs> and trust, and you won't be disappointed. It'll be an amazing, beautiful journey.